Hey, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add various blocks to the game, as well as variant blocks that have unique shapes, like walls and columns, for example. And again, we will further build off the biomes mod, and I will upload the source code to my GitHub like usual, uh, and the link will be in the description below. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a comment here and just call this blocks. This just helps me organize everything. Um, and then I will do a public static final item group. Um, so I'll create my own item group uh, so it shows up in the creative menu. Um, and I'll just close it. Then we'll do an equals fabric item group builder, which we'll create it and we'll build. Uh, and then we need an identifier. Uh, so we'll need a new identifier. Then we will need the namespace and the string path. Uh, the first namespace um, will be the mod ID. I'll just copy that. Place that in. And then the path will be example building blocks. And then the stack supplier. Uh, this will be something new entirely. So what I'll do, I'll actually just that. And then we will create a new uh, lambda expression, which is defined by this uh, parenthesis and an arrow, and I'll go to a new line, new item stack, and it will just be item convertible item. And uh, what we'll do is we'll reference uh, mod off, and call this and site. Break. We'll close that off with a semicolon and create a new line. We'll create a new public static final, and we'll create a block this time, and we'll call this example block and we will uh, create a new block which we will create the class later uh, but for now we'll set the variables here uh, so fabric block settings of material uh, the material we want uh, will be metal because we'll make a metal block uh, but it could be other things too it could be cactus egg you want. Um, and then we'll set the strength of the block uh, so Start string, then it will be a float, and then we'll just set it to 4.0f, and then close that off with a semicolon. Okay, next line is a public static final again, and it's just a block, and this will be example block wall, and this will be again a new wall block, and pretty much the exact same thing, uh, but instead of actually changing the different settings, what I'll do, I'll just do copy of an abstract block, copy the settings of example block above. So instead of creating a whole new set of strengths, I'll just copy this one here, then uh, this will use this set. Okay, so once you're done that, I'm just going to go into here and uh, in the files here under java.net.fabricmc.biomes, I'm going to create a new folder. I'm just going to call this blocks. And then inside this blocks, I'm going to create a new file. I'm just going to call this um, modblocks.java. And so inside here, um, we're going to want to extend block registration utilities. So we'll just do now extends off. and we will have to create this as well but worries we'll get to that in a minute so inside of here uh, i'm just going to create a few public statics so first up here that. and then we will just call this andesite bricks so we're going to create uh, a register block copy and then uh no worries uh that we got an error here so after this, um, we're not quite done yet. Uh, so we're going to actually create the block registration util. Um, so doing the same thing again here under Java net fabric MC biome, we're gonna create a new folder and I'm just gonna create a folder called utils. All right, and then inside utils folder, I'm gonna create a file. I'm just gonna call this block registration util.java. So once we've created the block registration util, uh, we will create all of the custom methods that we will use further on in the tutorial here. Um, so first off, I'm just gonna create a public static block and then register block copy will be our function name um, and then inside here called string id and we'll block base. all right and then we'll create the return register uh, and then we'll return id new block and we'll get some block copy settings so inside here we'll do fabric block settings copy base i'll create another one here public static block register block copy create another one here string d block base and then material the material color okay and so after that uh, will be return register the ID again new block inside will be fabric block settings copy of settings it will be base this time and then after that we'll look for material color, color. now here we will create another line and then we'll just call this register wall we won't have that so it'll just have string ID block base and it will have return register ID and then this will be New wall block, fabric block settings, copy base, and then we'll delete this material color. Then I'm going to copy that line again, create a new one, delete the block base. We've got a register. Okay, so we'll register wall, block base, like usual here, and return register wall. We will change all of this, set this to registry block get ID. Uh, entry will be base, get the path, and base. So then after we've created that, 
uh, we'll register a new one. Uh, but in this time, we'll do slab, and then this will be string ID block base. Uh, so we'll set this to register ID plus. This will be our slab. Oh, I actually forgot the underscore here. So don't forget to put the underscore under fall. Then here we'll do a new slab block and we'll copy fabric settings and then this will be base uh so i'll copy this line up here paste that in there then i'll change this to slab register slab that's done okay next create stairs so uh, i'll copy this line and then I'll change slab to stairs and this will be return register stairs and then this will be, instead of be slab will be stairs we'll do base get default state okay. And then after this, I'll just do the registry for the stairs. So I'll do that. Stairs, stairs. Uh, now under this line, uh, I'll just create a comment. It'll just be called registry. Uh, and then we'll create a public static block. Just all caps. All right, and then inside the parenthesis here, we'll do another string. And then we'll do block. And then we'll do the return. Do the registry. And then we're looking for entry identifier and registry so it'll be this one i think it's okay so the registry block id is the new identifier this will be namespace and string path the namespace will be uh, id uh, the string we'll just leave it as id and the entry will be the block close that off with any colon and this file is done for now okay so i noticed this fabric block settings here is throwing an error uh, i actually imported the wrong um so if you see this uh it's wrong it should be uh, api object version one that appears somewhere so i'll copy that into there api object version one epic block settings and then that should be fixed okay so then now we're going to go back to mod blocks um and now that we have everything in here uh, we're going to import the block registration util then we are going to fix the block registration copy we'll just add the argument and they will be default and then we will import block. okay so because we have andesite bricks here this and decide bricks. this null will be blocks and then we'll just call it polished and decide okay and from here uh, i'll create four more so i'll create this one this one and this one and so out of here we're going to create stairs slab and a row first there's uh right so instead of register block copy now uh we're going to register stairs and this will be base so we just like bricks as the label copy this and paste that into these spots below and then this will be slab this will be wall. okay and that's it for that file i'm just going to go back here and import all of these back okay and then we're going to go back into biomes mod and we're going to create the public static finals so First one here, create items for each of these blocks. Um, and then I'll just create a call, just call this uh, more blocks handled by mod. Block. Okay, so before we use the andesite bricks as our naming, I'll keep it that. Register, uh, and we're gonna reference mod blocks and bricks, and we're going to reference biomes mod. This will be example building. All right, so now I gotta create three more of these, so four in total. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to add stairs, uh, slab, and wall. And then this will be there's uh, right, good, great. And now underneath this here, uh, I'm just going to create uh, a function or a method rather public static item register. And inside the parenthesis here it will be block off item group. And then we will return registry register. And then we'll want the option of three here again. So registry, um, registry item, and then the ID will be registry block, get ID, the block entry, uh, which is just block. And then we'll have to create a new block item here. So new block item, new item setting. And then we'll set the max count to 64, the full stack. And then we will set the group that it's in to group. Then we will finish that off with a semicolon. And there we go, that should be good. All right, next, we need to scroll down and go to our on initialize function. And right down here, uh, we're just going to create a comment like usual, just so that I organize things. And then we'll set this as the blocks section. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is call registry register. And then we will need three option here. So registry block, and then the ID will be new identifier. The namespace will be biomes mod dot mod ID. And here, uh, create, create some more stuff here. But I'm gonna just call this uh, blockstone wall. Okay. And the entry will be example block wall. Close it up with semicolon. Then we will do another registry. So I'll register the item this time. New identifier, items mod, blackstone wall. And then this block in here will be a new block item. And then 
This block item will just be this. And then the setting will be new fabric ice. Uh, new fabric item settings. Part of group. The item disk. So we'll add that part of the item group. And then create a new box. That should be done. Okay, so up here before we created the example block. Um, so now this is showing an error. So what we'll have to actually do is we'll have to create it. Um, so I'll go in here, uh, then I'll look for my blocks folder, and then I'll create a new file, and I'll just call this uh, example block Java. Right. Uh, so we're gonna create a whole new block type. Um, so this will extend block. Um, and then here uh, we'll just create a function public example block this will have its settings and it will be a super class so okay so once we have the super class finished uh, we will uh, call public action result and then we will set an on use function uh, and so inside this parenthesis uh, we'll create block state world block position uh, player entity and block all right, so on the use function, uh, we will create uh, a client side only event that basically just sends a message to the chat um, and then it will return a result in success and then close the function. So we'll create an if statement uh, first. Uh, so in here, if world is client player and message, new literal text string, uh, and then such as the hello world. And then the action bar uh, will be false. Okay. And then we will return action result. Yes. Okay. And then we will create the uh, default voxel shape for the uh, actual block itself. Now you can make voxel shapes for these blocks pretty much anything you want. You can make them really thin or really fat, like a slab or uh, a wall, for example. So you can actually change the shape of them. So uh, we'll get outline shape and this will be block state, block view, block position, and then shape context. And then we will create the turn function, voxel shape, and S, the void, and then we will pick this one here with all the doubles. So uh, minimum will be zero, zero across the board here. And then the max will be on the y coordinates, uh, one f, and then the z coordinates, it will be a half block, 0.5. I'll set off with a semicolon, and that should be done. Okay. So now we the example block. Now we need to be in Put the wall block. I uh, scratch that actually. Let me just grab that. And then I'm just going to go back and import all the things that I didn't import. Okay. And it looks like material color has been changed with map color in this version that I'm using. So I'll just change that. Uh, the last thing here is to create a stairs block here and then import the wall block here. Okay. So uh, I'll go into the blocks folder again, create a new file, uh, and then we'll call this uh, stairs block Java. Uh, and then this is a public class and this will extend stair block uh, and then we'll create the super class so public stair block uh, this will be block state settings um copy that finish to like we need to fix these so the naming convention here uh for stairs block actually uh, is throwing an error because I named it stairs block and you can't actually reference itself. What I'll do here is I'll do a quick refactor and I'll just uh, rename stairs block uh, to stairs base. Then I will change that and then I'll change this back to stairs block. Then I saw these imports that should fix that. Uh, and then so what I'll do here is I'll change that to stairs base. Um, perhaps that will no longer need no longer it. Um, oh, great. Okay, so next thing uh, we're going to do now is after all this is said and done, or we've created all the logic for our block, uh, we just have to add in the assets. So uh, I think the first thing I'm going to do uh, is add in the, uh, the block states. Uh, so what I'll do first then is I will just copy over some block states that I had already reworked on. Um, and so then what I'll do, let's change that. Uh, and then we'll go through each one of these together. So this will be the block state for andesite brick slab, the for the example block, which is a blue block that we had created earlier. This is the blackstone block, blackstone wall, andesite bricks, site bricks wall, and the stair. Okay, that's all good. Um, next, uh, we'll create the models for each block. Um, so I've created some of these already, so I'll just drag those into here and then I'll add those in. So first one uh, is the andesite brick slab top uh, and then we'll go through each. So this is the blue example block. This is the black stone block itself. This is these, the wall side. This is when it's in tall mode which means that 
when uh, it's by itself, it will be taller, but when they are side by side linking together, as uh, walls do, that uh, this will not show. Uh, and this will be the post version of that, so it's just a single post. Um, then we'll go through these. This is andesite bricks, other wall side, or post. Uh, and these are the stairs for the andesite bricks to so the back side to the stairs. This is the slab. Okay. Uh, and then each item will have its own model as well. So I'll go through each one of these. The bricks slab. This is the example block again. The wall, the bricks, six wall, stairs. And then Last but not least, texture. So I'll go to the textures block folder here, um, and I will add those in. So, andesite bricks. Uh, I just took the bricks texture from vanilla Minecraft. Blackstone. I took from vanilla, uh, and then the example block. Uh, it's just a blue block of steel that I grabbed. And then your items. Um, that does not need anything. All right, let's test it. Awesome, I hope you guys liked the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for any new videos coming. To get notifications when my new videos are out, hit that notification bell down below. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already subscribed, consider doing so. Uh, and any video requests, make sure to leave those in the comment section below.